Hello everyone, this is Vincent from Wonders of London and I am in Angel, which is in the London borough of Islington, just by St Mary's Church. And Angel's got quite a lot of uh, amazing places. You've got brilliant restaurants, you've got brilliant pubs and theatres as well. This is actually the King's Head Theatre pub over there. And then you've got Islington Square just over there, lots of beautiful buildings, phenomenal architecture. And one of the most phenomenal things about Angel and Islington is of course this particular church that we are looking at over here which is St Mary's very very stunning phenomenal church with a lot of history and it's believed that there's been a church a parish church in this area since the time our uh, times of the Norman conquest which is basically William the Conqueror around the year 1066 so there's been a place of worship here for Christians since the 1060s and 1070s not this particular church of course but different churches at different times so it is quite a phenomenal and historic location and part of that his history is tied up in the legacy of one Richard Cloudsley and Richard Cloudsley and his legacy in Islington can be read over here as we can see he lived from 1470 to 1517 and he was Islington born a husbandman a yeoman or, or a gentleman and in fact um in January 1517 he married Alice uh, and on marrying her he wrote his will over three days from 13 January 1517 however within two months he had died and he requested that he be buried right here where we are within the churchyard of the parish church of Islington which is now St Mary's near the grave of his father and mother and he asked that masses be said for his soul and he left, left quite a number of religious and charitable bequeaths to the area and the church he also left two stony fields of fo 14 acres and uh, it is quite a phenomenal thing and his legacy can still be felt today and some of the money that he left all the t all the way back in 1517 hundreds of years ago uh, was still used to very close to today so it is quite a fascinating thing and of course he requested to be buried uh, here and this is where he is if we look over here we can actually see here lies the body of Richard Cloudsley a good benefactor to this parish who died in 1517 so it is quite an um, important and historic thing and a fascinating thing about this particular grave is that it was actually bombed it used to be in a different location they did move it but the grave of Richard Cloudsley was actually bombed in 1940 when we had World War II and at that time the Nazis and the enemy were bombing London we had the Blitz and the parish church of St Mary's in um, Angel was actually the first church in London to be bombed by enemy action so the enemy bombed this for our church first in London so there is so much ancient but also modern history going on with this church in Islington in Angel very very beautiful St Mary's and we can see some beautiful artwork and reliefs just over there as we pan up to the tower and the spire it's such a, a beautiful beautiful church and the last thing I'd like to show you the church is closed at the moment but hopefully they will reopen soon um, but they are having zoom sessions uh, for those who do worship but just check out this bit over here quite fantastic in any case I've been Vincent I do hope you've enjoyed this uh, video and have a lovely morning afternoon evening etc wherever you are bye